Alright you guys, so today I went to Otter Creek today and found this gorgeous uh, female purse web spider. These spiders in my area are kind of rare and hard to find because they're in the ground. 15, the females are 15 centimeters below the ground and they have like about a 5 I think it's 5 centimeters or something like that of a web they make this thick tube web and it's actually pretty cool how these these guys actually feed they wait for the prey item to go on top of their web and then the long things that they have they use those to pierce through the tube like web <coughs> excuse me um pierce through the uh tube like web to subdue the prey and the prey doesn't even know it because they're so quick with it after the prey is subdued they uh cuddle they cut open the web like a hole they bring it in and they web up that little hole and if they cut they personally do it themselves but um the males you would see them during the autumn times and they'll mate with the females like springtime and then the male would stay with the female and after they mate he'll stay there until eventually he dies she will lay some eggs have an egg sac and the baby stay in there for about a year maybe another year down in the burrow with her before they take off but these spiders are really cool i like to have a male and possibly pair these because I think it would be pretty cool to have more of this species of spider. See? Look at those giant things right there. These spiders can be quite feisty. They won't hesitate. Because I found a couple years, like two years ago in the summertime, around the autumn time, I found me a male press whip spider. A lot, he looks a lot different from the female, as you can see. Female has a giant abdomen. The male is really skinny, but his fangs are a lot bigger. And his carapace, I think, I, I don't know if I said it right, but um, in the middle, that, uh, that one was much more wider. He was a little bit bigger than, I'd say, yeah, he's a little bit bigger than her. But, um, yeah, the males, they make webs as well, but they only come out during the breeding times of these guys. And I wish I could maybe find a male in the future or something and pair of these guys. I really don't know too, too much about them, but I just kind of know the basics. But hopefully, if maybe I could find a male, I could pair these guys and have some babies. See how the babies are. And uh, we'll go from there. But just admiring the spider. And um, hopefully she'll make like a big old web that goes deep down. I'll be able to see the tunnels, hopefully. And maybe when she's settled in, hopefully we get a video of her eating. Because that would be pretty unique to see how these spiders eat. Because I was watching a few videos and doing some more research about them. Because this is my second time ever having one of these spiders. And... Hopefully we find something pretty cool about this, about this beauty right here, because I think that would be uh, pretty unique. But yeah, I just put her in this enclosure. Get this damp uh, eco earth. I just put a little bit of moss in there just for, uh, just for the looks plus for water and stuff because I think it's pretty nice. Put it in this because they need deep substrate. This will work for them. Um, but I do plan possibly getting some more stuff, like little barks and stuff, and making it more natural. And the reason why I gave her this big enclosure right here, because they make very long webs, like very long tube-like webs. They, uh, they go down deep into the ground, but they do have a top, they do have like a top, they will have like a top layer of the web, of the tube up top so when they feel the vibration or something they'll come up but this girl she is really 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 cool hmm. but 
and uh, yeah very unique spider and uh hope you all enjoy